And to recap, another loss for IUPUI, but in a night where the Jaguars played well, they played hard, just didn't have enough to beat a good Youngstown State team. Penguins come to Indianapolis and win for a seventh time in as many tries in these two teams' rivalry history. Penguins win at 61-55. Again, IUPUI got down by double digits early at 19-8, trailed 28-16 towards halftime, but then rattled off 11 consecutive points to make it a one-point game at the break. In large part, that was due to what Bakari Lestrap as well as B.J. Maxwell were able to do. Maxwell would finish with 22 points. That is a new career high. Bakari Lestrap would finish the game with 15. And it was an IUPUI team that was undermanned, played just six players in tonight's game. That has been the case now for each of the last three games for IUPUI. Jaguars had their struggles from three-point range. That's been their M.O. this year. In fact, their total threes made and percentages – Absolutely on their average. Five threes made, 28%. But B.J. Maxwell made enough key threes to keep IUPUI in the game. There was no definitive offensive star for Youngstown State. Young men we're showing you is Miles Hunter. Hunter averages five points a game. He made his first four field goals, finished the game with 12, one of four players in double digits for Youngstown State tonight. Penguins now 13-10. and 10. Jaguars fall to 2-18. and 18. Jaguars will do it again coming up on Saturday at noon when they look for their first league victory against Robert Morris. This is Greg Rakestraw. Thanks for joining us for IUPUI Basketball.